Hello, in this Cocos 2DX JavaScript video, we're going to show you how to use local storage. Local storage allows you to persist data, for example, if you were to store some local scores and the user were to turn off their application, actually properly close it down, it's still installed, and so you still got all the data on there. When they go back onto it, all their scores are still on there. So that's persistent data, data that persists after you go away from the application on the web you have persistent storage in local local or user storage and that is used when the user let's say goes away from the page come back refreshes that sort of stuff and it's a really powerful feature but really simple to implement so once you got your coca studio js project set up you want to actually i'm going to open this in an external editor simply because the code formatting in Xcode for Cocos 2 djs is terrible. So I'm just going to use this. So first of all, we're just going to set some data. To do that, you do cc.sys, which is the system.localstorage.setItem. And this takes two values. The two values it takes is the key. You can think of this as the unique ID. It is case sensitive, just bear that in mind. And the actual value you try and store, it's just used for storing simple values. So basically a number or a text or something along those lines. And to store some data, just put json.stringify. Let's make sure it's spelled stringify correctly. Yep, that's all correct. And in here, put your unique key. I'm going to put key one. Like I said, this is case sensitive. So if I were to put lowercase k, that is actually referring or setting a different item. That's the same when you get the data as well. Now we're going to do json.stringify. Simply put the data that you're putting. Though we're stringifying it, once we actually retrieve and put in a variable we can treat it like we would a number for example and we can easily manipulate it in javascript so i'm going to put 67 and the var value equals json dot pass so i'm actually retrieving the value now so you do json dot pass this takes a single parameter which is cc basically the data that is passing we do cc.sys.localStorage.getItem this time. And this simply takes one parameter, which is json.stringify. And the actual key that you want to get the data for, just put key one. Finally, we're going to do cc.log and print out the value. So if we save that, Go to Xcode, run this in a simulator. As you can see, it's logged out the value 67. And to illustrate my point of it actually being persistent data, I'm closing down the simulator. I'm just going to comment out this line which sets the data. So the data has already been set because if this was in persistent data and I were to try and retrieve some local storage, it wouldn't get the correct value. And as you can see, it's got the correct value. And just to illustrate you a little more, what I'm going to do is go to the home screen, just delete the application, which is Cocos Learning JS, which is this one right here. Delete. That crash is fine. That just happened because I was deleting the application without properly closing it. You wouldn't have that issue. That's just for testing in Xcode. And if I run this now, I'm no longer setting the item. It gives me no. And the reason it gives me no is because I deleted the application, which deleted the local storage of the application, which therefore deleted the data assigned to the key, key one. And because we're no longer setting it, we're trying to get data that no longer exists. So that's how local storage works. If I uncomment this, you can easily put a string value here. So I could put hello world, for example. And the key doesn't have to be a string. You could make it as a number. I could put eight. And for this, you could put the number eight. 
and as you can see we've got the string hello world if you're wondering how to overwrite data that you've already set you simply just set the item again and if there's any data already available for that particular key it will just overwrite it if not you'll actually write some new data that's it for local storage in cocos 2dx javascript really simple stuff but really powerful if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php there'll be a link in the description plus there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video and the source code from the c plus plus version if you're interested in that if you like this video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day